With games like PUBG, Fortnite, Warzone, and Ubisoft's latest game, Hyperscape, Apex is going to have to make some changes very, very soon if they want to stay on top of the Battle Royale genre. Now, here are my top five things I think Apex should add for Season 6. Coming in at number five is special events. Now, this is some I envy from Fortnite and how they added the Travis Scott concert or the Marshmallow concert and the skins like Captain America and stuff like that. That is really, really dope. And it brings like a lot of new and unique content to the game and that can be created for content creators and for people that just casually play the game to enjoy. Now, I don't expect Apex to have a live concert. I mean, what, you're gonna like put a stereo on a leviathan or something but but maybe they could partner with dc and make like a Catwoman lifeline skin or a poison ivy rape skin like imagine a mr freeze crypto or a joker caustic like it's so much that respawn could do but i know they're not gonna do it because they feel like it would take away from the backstory of the game now me personally being a lover of apex backstory the lore I don't think stuff like this will take away any context from the game itself. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like they should do stuff like this. Make the community tweet about it, get it trending, get it excited. And honestly, I would like to know what you guys think. Would you like to see a Batman um, Pathfinder, a Robin Octane? Like, would you like to see just custom legends based off real life or comic book or action movies like you know what i'm saying would you like to see that in apex legends like if so like let me know down in the comment section below a third mode will help gamers watch old clips and learn from their mistakes now this is huge everybody isn't a content creator and can record their games now people can go back and see where they went wrong people can go see if how they got flanked people it's a lot of stuff that people can do you know you can really learn from your mistakes if you can go back and watch your mistakes now respawn is trying to cater apex legends to the newcomers that so they can stick around long which is understandable but that's why we have system-based matchmaking but if the newcomers play the game casually and they don't have a theater mode where they can come back and rewatch their games they're not really learning from the experience i would so to say because even then people still make smurf accounts and just go fry on the damn bounce you know what i'm saying so I feel like a theater mode will help out content creators, newcomers, and just it's all around W. Like it's no, I don't see any any cons in this. The only thing you just have to spend money, and that's on your uh, publisher company if EA wants to spend that money. But I do believe it will help us out a lot. Content creators can make skits, cinematic trailers, thumbnails everything and now um, apex is really trying to make it the 12 seasons of this game i mean we're gonna need a theater mode and we're gonna need a theater mode sooner than later now i know they have this option on pc at least i had it when i went to go play on pc for a few games but i think they should bring it to console and i don't know if this generation of consoles are outdated to the point where they can't do it but hopefully next gen they can make this work and the reason why i think they should bring custom lobbies to the console as well it's because a lot of people still play your game on console pc isn't the only people that play your game and i feel like a lot of things are catered towards the pc players now imagine what people that play apex and newcomers to the game can do with a custom lobby newcomers can walk around the map they can learn how to map work they can practice their grapple off buildings they can learn routes how to get out this building how to do that it's a lot of stuff newcomers can do if they had custom lobbies now it's also a lot of things that content creators can do for example zill brad just dropped a vid beating the entire kill record in apex legends history with like 200 and i don't think anybody else is going to be able to top that unless you're like a bit streamer like back off my jinx um staycation kobe i temp the gaming merchant people like that because that was freaking insane and i really enjoyed that video but also for people like me i'm not great with the kraber i want to practice the kraber somewhere where i can naturally practice hitting a target from far now if you got custom lobbies i will be able to practice my kraber shots from a poster tower unknown further you know what i'm saying but i can't do that in the firing range yes i know you have the targets back there but it's not it's the same as hitting somebody that's moving left or right now respawn if you ever guys come across this this vid 
Um, I know you guys have a small development team, and I'm not saying that that um push yourself to the brink of death. You, we, we love your game. Your game is amazing. Take as much time as you need, but please consider the things that the community are asking for because at the end of the day, the community is what keeps the game alive. Like I get it, it's your game, and you're gonna do what you want to do. But at the end of the day. The community is what thrives. The sand in the stores, or is the customer always right? It's the same situation here. The community is always right. Now, I know you have to balance between what to give and what to take, and this, that, and the third, but stuff like this that I'm naming in this video is great content and the stuff that will actually help thrive the community more. We should never go without an LTM. I repeat, let the choir say, we should never go without a LTM. Now, if you don't know what LTM is, it's limited time mode. For example, snipers and shotguns. Now, when they gave us snipers and shotguns evolved, it was great. It was a little break away from the three stack prey lobbies. So you didn't have to worry about having a level 34 teammate and a Mirage Predator with 20 kill badge and 15,000 kills. You didn't have to worry about trying to fight against that. You just go in there, have fun, relax. You don't have to care about who's losing or winning. You just have fun trying to snipe people. It was fun, right? Now, I'm not saying they should add new LTMs every single week. Recycle the old ones. That's it. Recycle the old LTMs and then make it two days. And boom, we're good. I mean, you recycle content like <coughs> Bangalore skin, Pathfinder skin, Bloodhound skin. I mean, I mean, recycle the LTM so they give us a break from the sweaty SBMM that comes with this game. Now, like I said, I like the limited time modes. All of them I didn't like. Like third player, it was fun, but it sucked for me because I'm not normally used to shooting like that. But bring them back anyway. Give us an option. Like this, this information is free. The community is talking. Like just listen. That's it. Listen. Bring the LTMs. Rotating LTMs every two days for a week and then who cares you can you can take the same ltm we don't care we do not care we just want something else to do besides playing pub and rank pub and rank well technically we're playing rank and rank so you know what i'm saying just give us some please pretty please now i'm gonna say this before i even get into this i understand apex legends is a free battle royale game i understand so they have to make their money off in-game purchases i.e. skins charms and weapon skins but hear me out hear me out what if what if they took your favorite content creator which hopefully is me <laughs> but let's say they took me let's just use me for an example because i can only speak for myself my logo is red and white right and I picked the RE45 for them to make a custom RE45 with my logo on it, my colorway, and a weapon charm with my logo on it, right? And I tell them, hey, I, I like that. I think my community will buy that. And just give me like 10% of the proceeds. Boom. That way, they get more in-app in -app purchases, and then my community supports me by already doing something that they probably would have did. So that way, everybody's happy. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody's happy. Like I've played a lot of few games and a lot of people were like, I'm not buying no skins off of Apex. Wanna know why? Because every skin costs $20. Every skin is $20. Every skin is $20. If I buy the bundle skins that they got in the store, that's like I that's like $40, $50, $70. I could have bought a whole new game. Now, I understand they they they're not they're probably not gonna lower the prices of the skins. But at least do something like this will make it worthwhile. Like I would totally rock my own custom skin in the game it would be dope and it could show support and your support it could show respawn support for the creator and it could show the community support for the creator and the creator is supposed have more exposure for the game because people search on youtube and twitch and stuff to watch the creator that that if the creator loves your game then your game is going to do well now i'm gonna say one more thing and if you don't want to do that if you want to do that just add a code similar to what fortnite do just add a code hey boom here's the code put this code in if you buy anything at the store I'll cut your favorite concert with a few proceeds and i think and i think even that will still drive up the the, the um, people buying stuff at the store now i will say this i will say this 
Respawn has paid big time streamers, Ninja, Shroud. I know I'm throwing out names, but I'm just using these people as an example. I have nothing against them. I don't know them personally. I'm not mad at them. Get the bag how you get the bag. I would have did the same thing. But this is more catered to Respawn or EA or whoever is doing this. Don't spend all your money trying to market with big streamers that don't even play your game like that. Ninja took the bag and went back to Fortnite. Shroud took the bag and went and played with CSO, CSO Gold, with Rainbow Siege, everything under the sun except Apex Legends, right? So my thing is, why not take that marketing money and go and use it in your community? Use it within your community. Take these ideas. Here, this is free. This is free content and ideas for you guys. Take it. Run with it. I don't care. Take it, run with it, make it a thing. Let's get this Apex community popping because this is really the best battle royale out there. Comment down below what you guys will add to help improve Apex Legends. Also, while you're down there, comment your system. I'm going to pick one random person out of the comment section and I'm going to get them a thousand Apex coins. So, uh, yeah, if you're new around here, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Apex Legends content. And if you already subscribed, I appreciate and I love you a lot. Thank you. Welcome to the War Squad and continue to be a loyal subscriber. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. <laughs> Tell me how you cope when you misuse. I'm trying to pick a scabby was a bruise. Painting pictures, post my paint up as my.